maging bahagi ng pinakamalaki at pinakadekalidad na junior high school sa Mandaluyo. Ang mataas na para lang Neptali A. Gonzalez. And here are the programs that we're offering in grade 7. To apply as regular grade 7, here are the requirements. And if you are interested to be part of MPNAG Science, Technology, and Engineering program, here are the requirements. For MPNAG Special Program in the Arts, or SPA, here are the requirements. For MPNAG Special Program in Journalism or SPJ, here are what you need to prepare. For online application, check the link shown right now. For inquiries, please look for the following. Mrs. Maria Cristina El Pabayo, our school guidance counselor and in charge for regular grade 7 and transferees. Mrs. Marites Onachor, head teacher 3 and STE coordinator, for Grade 7 STE application. For Grade 7 SPA, look for Mrs. Joanna R. Ayo, Master Teacher 1, and SPA Coordinator. And last, 
for the SPJ application, Mrs. Maria Teresa A. Fudo, Master Teacher 2, and the SPJ Coordinator. Or email us at mpinag at depedmandaluyong.org Kaya naman, ano pang hinihintay nyo? Join us at Empinag Junior High School and register now. Dahil basta Empinag, legalidad! Hello, Empinag STE Wannabes! The mataas na paaralang Neptali A. Gonzalez, Science, Technology, and Engineering Program, Application for Admission for Incoming Grade 7 for School Year 2021-2022 is now open. Do you want to know the admission requirements and procedure? Watch this! For the grade requirements, you must have an average grade of at least 85 or above in grade 5 science, math and English, and no grades below 83 in other subjects. And what are the documents needed? First, you must have the fully accomplished MPNEG STE program application form. The application form can be downloaded at the MPNEG STE page or it can be secured at MPNAG Admin Office. Next, the certified two copy of Grade 5 report card, two recent 1.5 by 1.5 ADI picture, and photocopy of birth certificate. And take note that Grade 6 report card will also be a requirement upon admission in Grade 7. Submitting the requirements, we have two options. This option is the online submission. Scan all the requirements needed and email to mpinagste2010 at gmail.com. Or you may print and fill out the application form and submit together with all the requirements at MPNAG Admin Office between 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. from Monday to Friday. And for all walk-in applicants, please observe health and safety protocols at all times. The deadline of submission of application is on April 15, 2021. So how will the screening process be? First, preliminary selection through documentary evaluation. Second, online interview of applicants together with a parent guardian shall be undertaken to validate the document submitted and to gauge the possibility of the applicant to succeed in the program. Applicants will be ranked based on the following criteria. Grade 5 average grade in math, science and English, 60%. Online interview, 40% for a total of 100%. Learners who get an average of 80% after going through the application and screening process are qualified to enroll in the program. 
Please note that the Candeca VSTE program admission test is temporarily suspended for this school year. So what are you waiting for? Register now and be part of the MPNAG STE family. Magandang sining at kultura sa ating lahat. It is a greeting from SPA. I want you to know that I love arts. Art, art, and so much art. What about art? Talented people are artists. It can be you. Now, what about SPA? This is where the SPA comes in. Here are the performing arts disciplines dance, instrument, voice, and theater. The performers that will have you chill up on your spine. Here are the non-performing arts disciplines, the creative writing, Malika and Alcula, visual arts, and media arts, the arts behind the stage. SPA Vision SPA envision excellent young artists with the aesthetic potential and renewed spiritually committed to the adaptation of cultural heritage, can embrace diversity globally competitive and world-class That is the small glimpse for what is SPA in MP now. Lots and lots are happening. Don't miss out. Now, it's time for me to ask. For you, are you a performer or a non-performer? It's your chance to find out.
Mas na para lang Nepali Gonzales Senior High School caters to more than 700 students. In fact, it is the largest senior high school in the division of Mandaluyong. Specializing in academics, arts and design, and the technical, vocational, and livelihood tracks. For the TVL track, we have cookery, front office, food and beverages, and home economic services. For the academic track, Ampinag offers science, technology, engineering and mathematics, accountancy, business and management, general academic, and now the humanities and social sciences strand. Investing primarily on skills that can help you gain requisite certificates of completion and the national certificate, the Technical Vocational Livelihood Track is the perfect fit for students who want to earn money immediately after graduation. Opportunities in this track include careers in agriculture, electronics, trade, and even abroad. Future TBL graduates can become chefs, front desk officers, event organizers and planners, housekeepers, and secretaries. The culminating activities you will be exposed to include cooking shows, personality development, immersions, entrepreneurship expos, and other hands-on activities. The science, technology, engineering, and mathematics strand focuses on these intertwining disciplines applied in the real world. The main difference with other strands being its focus on advanced concepts and topics. Under this strand, you can become a pilot, engineer, nurse, doctor, teacher, scientist, researcher, and so much more. The culminating activities of this strand include science fairs, interdivision science competitions, science investigatory project competitions, and immersions. The accountancy, business, and management strand emphasizes on the basic concepts of financial management, business management, corporate operations, and all things accounted for. The ABM strand can lead you to careers on management and accounting, such as sales and marketing managers, human resources, bookkeepers, auditors, and accountants, among others. Its culminating activities include entrepreneurship expos, seminars and symposiums, field and market studies, immersions, and business ethics. While the other strands are career-specific, the general academic strand takes multiple aspects from other strands, being the best choice for students who want to be more flexible when it comes to their options. Career choices for GAS graduates include writers, social scientists, researchers, event organizers and managers, and public speakers. The culminating activities of this strand include earthquake and fire drills, entrepreneurship expos, research symposiums, tours and immersions, speech choirs, and public speaking. The arts and design track prepares students as they wander in the different design, performative, and creative industries, exposing them to various forms of arts, dance, theater, voice and instruments, and media, visual, and literary arts. Careers and opportunities in this track include singers and composers, dancers and instructors, theater and stage actors, and animators and graphic designers. Culminating activities include immersions, variety shows, art exhibits, grand productions, and theater and stage plays. Empinag Senior High School aims to become the senior high school of choice in the division of Mandaluyo. It provides the students with access to quality, efficient, and effective education for all, where students are given a wide variety of choices in relation to their career preferences. As a senior high school of choice, Empinag Senior High School envisions to produce students who are functionally literate and productive citizens of our nation, equipped with values, skills, and competences that enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation through diverse classroom instructions that are aligned with their career of choice.
Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our virtual launching of MPNAG Digitals. We are very grateful that you are joining us today. My name is Ms. Josephine Dinglasan, your program master for today. To start with, let us uh, have a national anthem to be conducted by Mrs. Maria Teresa Carenza, master teacher two of uh, MAPI department, and to be, and uh, followed by to be followed by the prayer to be led by uh, Mr. Jemeline Basilio, Head Teacher 3 of the ESP Department. <laughs> Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. ourselves in the presence of the Lord, in the Lord Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, Divine Teacher, be with us as we begin this meeting. Your Son's command to teach all nations is our concern. Assist us so that this meeting will be for us who attended and opportunity to learn. In the process of dealing with the material issues at hand, may we learn how to how to treat each other's ideas with their reverence and respect. May we be instructed in the divine truth that in the variety of approaches, out of the rich differences among us will come the balance of the kingdom. May we discover how to reject ideas without rejecting people and how to share visions though we do not share the same means for reaching our desired goals. May this meeting then be for each of us prayer a lesson and an opportunity to be servants to those whom we represent. We ask this through our eternal teacher, Jesus Christ. Amen. And in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. To our school administrators, headed by Mr. Henry A. Sabidong, head teachers, master teachers, teachers of the academy, schools, division officials, stakeholders, parents and students, and to all our viewers, once again, a pleasant morning to all of you. I am very excited for the good news today. It's all about MPNAG Digitals. To know more about it, just sit down, relax, and stay tuned up to the last minute of our program. Digital literacy means being able to understand and use technology. It relates to the ability of an individual to find, evaluate, and clearly communicate information on the various media platforms and that's the trend now in the different facets of life either at work or in school 
to kick off the program, let us let us welcome Miss Rosalie Visor, our assistant to the principal for Junior High School Operations and Learner Support, Head Teacher Three of Araling Panlipunan, to give us an opening remarks. Good morning, Ma'am Sor. Good morning, Ma'am Dinlasan. Okay. Thank you, Ma'am Dinlasan. So to our uh, principal, Mr. Henry Isabido, our uh, PSDS in charge of the school, Mr. Anthony Agosto M. Garcia, Assistant Principal for Senior High School, Mr. Ryan Medina, my co-assistant to the principal for junior high school, Mrs. Liberty Noblesa, the teachers, teachers, learners, home learning partners, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. First and foremost, let me congratulate the proponent, uh, Mr. Junior S. Lim, who worked hard to materialize this project. And of course, with the support of our beloved principal. So nowadays, everything is shifting to mobile. We are in a world where we are bordered by technology and developments molding up our lives to be better by its day. We have latest innovation set up, one such innovation that yielded the most impact is mobile apps. So I would like to express my warm welcome to you all. Thank you for being with us today. We are so delighted to have you with us to participate virtually to the launching of MPNAG Digitals, another milestone in the history of Mataas na parang Neptali A. Gonzalez. So this project is the last phase of the two-year digitalization effort of the school in response to the 21st century education goal of ICT integration to the schools and the threat of the COVID-19 pandemic. So through the MPNAG mobile application and MPNAG teachers app, we could have a meaningful connections with our school transactions. Make it easy for everyone, for both teachers and learners, as well to the stakeholders, to have access to important information in one place, like in digitalizing the contents and selected services, which includes but not limited to the enrollment process, tracking system, in and out of for teachers and surveys. It also intends to give an access to all information and data of the school for easy retrieval and transparency. So we at MPNAD must be an ICT enthusiast, must continue to move forward and continue to be an innovator. Again, I wish to thank you all for gracing this activity and be with us as we go on in our journey with the MPNAD Digitals dahil basta MPNAD de calidad. Thank you, Ma'am Sor, for very warm opening remarks. To give us a special message, may I request our assistant to the principal for junior high school, academics, head teacher three, mathematics department, Ma'am Liberty A. Noblesa. Good morning, Ma'am Noblesa. To our school head, Sir Henry A. Sabidong, our PSDS in charge, Sir Anthony Augusto Garcia, Assistant Principal 2 on Senior High School, Sir Ryan Omidina, my co-assistant to the principal on operations and learning support, Ms. Rosalie Bisor, head teachers, master teachers, our guidance counselor, admin officer, non-teaching staff, teachers, home learning partners, guests, morning, good morning to all. The COVID-19 pandemic has opened our eyes as to why online education should be a vital part of teaching and learning. By integrating technology into existing curriculum, as opposed to using it solely as a crisis management tool, teachers can harness online learning as a powerful educational tool. 
The effective use of digital learning and e-classroom can increase student engagement, help teachers improve their lesson plans, and facilitate personalized learning. It also helps students build essential 21st century skills. Virtual classroom, educational videos, and other technolo technology tools can not only make class more lively, they can also create more inclusive learning environments that foster collaboration and inquisitiveness and enable teachers to collect data on students' performance. Still, it's important to note that technology is that technology is a tool used in education and not an end in itself. The premise of educational technology lies in what educators do with it and how it is used to best support their students' needs. However, online education may pose challenges for teachers, especially when it has not been the norm. Despite the challenges and concerns, it's important to note the benefits of technology in education, including increased collaboration and communication, improved quality of education, and engaging lessons that help spark imagination and a search for knowledge in students. In our efforts and want to improve student performance in the new normal, Technology has helped us accomplish this aim. Technology provides students with easy to access information, accelerated learning, and fun opportunities to practice what they learn. It enables students to explore new subjects and deepen their understanding of difficult concepts. Through the use of technology inside and outside the classroom, Students can gain modern technical skills necessary for future occupations. Additionally, technology in the classroom has made the teachers' jobs easier without adding extra time to their day. MPNED's faculty and administration has helped its teachers improve their core competencies as well as develop the tools needed to enhance learning for students through technology. Educational technology also fostered collaboration. Not only can teachers engage with students less during lessons, but students can also communicate with each other. Through online lessons and learning games, students can, can work together to solve problems. In collaborative activities, students can share their thoughts and ideas and support each other. At the same time, Technology enables one-on-one -on -one interaction with teachers. A student can ask classroom-related questions and seek additional help on difficult-to-understand subject matter. At home, students can upload their homework, and teachers can access and view completed assignments using their laptops. Technology allows 24-7 access to educational resources. Classes can take place entirely online via the use of laptop or mobile device. The use of technology to tailor learning plans for students is possible. Teachers can create lessons based on students' interests and strengths. An added benefit is that students can learn at their own pace. When they need to review class materials to get a better understanding of essential concepts, students can review videos in the lesson plan. The data generated through these online activities enable teachers to see which student struggled with certain subjects and, uh, and offer additional assistance and support. Through engaging in educational content, teachers can spark inquisitiveness in children and boost their curiosity, which research says has ties to academic success. Curiosity helps students get a better understanding of math and reading concepts. Creating engaging content can involve the use of videos or podcasts. For example, when submitting assignments, 
students can include videos or interact with students even if they are confined at home. Teacher can leverage technology to achieve new levels of productivity. Implement useful digital tools to expand learning opportunities for students and increase student support and engagement. It also enables teachers to improve their instruction methods and personalized learnings. Schools can then benefit from technology by reducing the cost of physical instructional materials, enhancing educational program efficiency, and making the best use of teachers' time. While some of us are unfamiliar with some of the technology used in education, as we may not have been exposed to the tool as part of their professional development, let us continue working on acquiring the skills to incorporate technology in education so we can take advantage of learning opportunities as well as to advance our competencies. This way, we continue to uphold our alma mater's promise, basta empinag de calidad. Again, good morning and mabuhay. Thank you, Mom Liberty. So the father and ever-loving principal for up mataas na paaralang Neptali A. Gonzalez, Mr. Henry A. Sabidong, will give us also a special message. Good morning, Sir Henry. application for our teacher. stakeholders. This is a two-year digitization program of the school that will convert some of our uh, school services into digital platform. Using our online and digital platforms, we aim to uh, make our services better in times of pandemic. Sa ating mga stakeholders at sa ating mga guro at mga mag-aaral, ito ay isang napakalaking uh, tulong. You don't need to go to school to apply for your Form 137 and to pass some documents needed for our teachers. Uh, ito po ay sinagawa ng ating uh, mga ICT teachers at mga uh, magagaling na guro bagamat hindi uh, kasali sa TLE o sa ICT yet uh, through collaboration ng uh, mga guro at ng mga head teachers ay nakabuo tayo ng galitong application. Especially, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Lim for uh, providing us the uh, technology and the know-how to make this uh, application possible. Sa tulong din po ng ating mga sister principal na sila Ginang Noblesa at Binibining Sor, kasama po sila Sir Ryan Medina, uh, na push natin ng ganitong uh, gawain. All you have to do is to download this app into uh, our uh, gadget galing po sa Play Store. The reposition of school documents, module, DepEd, news, educational tools, enrollment system, ay isa sa mga ginagawa nating uh, kaparaanan na hindi na kailangan pumunta sa paaralan kundi sa pindot lamang ng inyong mga application nang sa pindot lamang ng inyong gadget ay makakahingi kayo ng inyong mga kinakailangan sa paaralan sa mga guro naman ay ang pagpasa ng IDLAR, DepEd News, e-certificate, etc. etc. And we are hoping that this uh, project will uh, improve as times goes by. No, ang uh, proyektong ito ay ilo-launch natin ngayon at ako'y nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng naging bahagi nito 
at sa lahat ng uh, mga nag-isip ng ganitong application. I am really, really proud of you and it makes DepEd uh, more accessible to all our stakeholders, including teachers and students. Muli, nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat at uh, manatiling ligtas. Gabiti na ang application na ito. Nang sa ganon ay uh, manatili tayo sa ating mga tahanan habang pinapalipas natin ng pandemyang ito. Sa lahat, maraming maraming salamat at isang magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Pagpalain tayo ng may kapal. Basta empinag de kalidad. Good morning. Thank you po, Sir Henry Sabilong, for your untiring support. We are also blessed and fortunate that despite of his busy schedule, this man is always on the go. It is my honor to introduce to you our Public Schools Division Supervisor in Charge of Mataas na Paralang Nepali A. Gonzalez, none other than Mr. Antonio Augusto M. Garcia. Good morning, Sir Antony. Technol uh, teknolohiya, pandemia, at ang end users. Ang end users, tayo, na miyembro ng pamayanan ng mataas na paaralang Neptali A. Gonzales. Sa ating uh, punong guro, Ginong Henry A. Sabidong, sa mga katuwang niya sa pamamahala at pagpaplano sa paaralan, uh, na binubuo ni Naginoong Ryan O. Medina, Assistant School Principal 2 for Senior High School, uh, Ms. Rosalie V. Sor, Assistant School uh, Assistant to the Principal for Junior High School Operations and Learner Support, uh, Mrs. Uh, Liberty A. Noblesa, Assistant, school, uh, Assistant to the School Principal for Junior High School Academics, at uh, sa ating head teacher for ng uh, EPP TLE Miss Michelle Luz S. Uh, Villacorta at sa lahat ng bumubuo ng technical working team para po sa programang ito sa buong komunidad ng uh, mataas na paaralang Neptili A. Gonzales. <clears throat> Bakit laging komunidad? Sapagkat ito ay binubuo ng teaching and non-teaching staff stakeholders, home learning partners, mga batang mandunong, at ng ating mga supporters, mga kaibigan na naniniwala sa pinag-asa adhikain ng mataas na para lang Neptali A. Gonzales at sa kanilang mantra na basta empinag de kalidad. Isang bumubuting panahon para po sa ating lahat. Tulad po ng naranasan natin ng mga nagdaang mga araw, malakas ang buhos ng ulan. May binaha na mga lugar. At uh, hindi tayo nakaligtas po doon sa nakalipas na school year 2020-2021 na marami rin po tayong naranasang ulan at baha bilang paghahanda at uh, pagpapatupad ng Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan hindi lamang sa ating paaralan kundi sa ating um, sa buong division at sa buong Department of Education. Pero ang nakakatuwa po ay uh, hindi talaga tumitigil ang miyembro, ang technical working team ng MPNAG sa pagdidesenyo ng iba't ibang programa, ng iba't ibang gawain para yung ulan at yung baha na ating naranasan ay ating malagpasan. Um, pagbati, no? uh, siguro ang mensaheng ito ay uh, mensahe ng pagbati, pasasalamat at pag-asa. Pagbati sapagkat um, you are all working hard to come up with various interventions to address the challenges, to, uh, to ensure a smooth sailing 
um, admi uh, administration at pagtugon sa lahat po ng pangangailangan ng ating school community members. Pasasalamat sapagkat hindi tayo tumitigil. Hindi tayo tumitigil <coughs> sa pag-iisip ng ikabubuti ng ating komunidad. Pasasalamat sapagkat ang ating mga guro, ang ating mga magulang, ang ating mga mag-aaral ay patuloy na nakikiisa sa lahat po ng adikain ng ating paaralan, ng ating uh, asa pamumuno ng ating punong guro, Mr. Henry A. Sabidong. And pag-asa. Pag-asa sapagkat ang ilulunsad natin na uh, programa ngayong araw na ito ay magbibigay pa ng mas maliwanag na pag-asa sa bawat isa upang mas maging madali, mas maging um, convenient para sa lahat at uh, para maging ligtas uh, sa banta ng COVID-19. Pagbati, pasasalamat, pag-asa. Muli po, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat at maraming salamat po. Thank you, Sir Anthony, sa inyo pong mensahe ng pagbati, pasasalamat at pag-asa. Our history says that the utak ng himagsikan is Andres Bonifacio. But here in Empinag, we have this man that keeps on creating and curating applications for us to become a digital natives. To name a few, he maintained our Empinag portal for teachers and student services. And he also created our school QR code. The teacher tree and the grade uh, 12 level chair of senior high school department, may I present to you the prime mover of this Ampinag Digitals. And to give us the rationale of the application, may I call on Mr. Junior S. Liam. Good morning, Sir Liam. Thank you, Ma'am Ding Lesson, for that uh, wonderful introduction. Uh, to begin with, to our PSDS in charge, uh, Matasa Paralang Nantanay Gonzalez, Sister Anthony Augusto M. Garcia, to our ever-supportive school principal, Mr. Henry A. Sabido, to our hardworking assistant principal for senior high school, Mr. Ryan O. Medina, to our two uh, dynamic assistant to the principals, uh, in junior high school for academic, Ms. Lib uh, Mrs. Liberty A. Nobleta, for operations and learner support, Ms. Uh, Rosalie B. Sor, head teachers, master teachers, uh, teachers, parents, and students na nanonood niya yung umagang ito, isa pong magandang umaga sa lahat. Allow me to introduce to you to a new milestone in our school's history. The culmination of the two-year digitalization program of Mataas na Paralang Neptali A. Gonzalez. Sa katunayan po, ito pong programang ito nagsimula pa po bago ang pandemic. Inisip na po ng Mataas na Paralang Neptali A. Gonzalez na i-digitalize o kumbaga inisip na po ng paaralan na magbigay ng mga serbisyo pang paaralan para sa ating mga mag-aaral sa iba't ibang stakeholders gamit ang makabagong teknolohiya. Bago man po ang pandemic, nag-isip na po ang paaralan kung paano mas maibibigay ng mas mabilis, episyente at epektibo ang mga servisyo nito sa ating mga mag-aaral, sa ating mga magulang, at sa ating pong iba pang stakeholders. Siguro po, blessing in this, guys, natin may tuturing itong pandemic. Dahil hindi naman po, na, ina, hindi naman po inasahan ng paaralan na sa susunod na taon, 
nung pinag-isipan natin ito, eh magkakaroon ng pandemic. Pero lahat na bigla ng dumating itong pandemic na ito, lahat ng paralan ay nagsara kasabay ng problema ng paglaganap ng pan- ng COVID sa mga lugar sa bansa. Pero ang MP nag dahil nga po nilalata ganito ang plano nito upang ibigay ang mga serbisyo nito sa ating mga stakeholders gamit ang makabagong teknolohiya naka, madaling nakapag-adjust ang paralan. Tayo ang kauna-unahang paaralan sa Mandaluyong kung hindi man sa buong bansa o hindi man din sa buong Metro Manila sa City of Mandaluyong na nakapag-response kaagad sa hamon ng pandemic. Kaagad-agad natin binago ang iba't ibang sistema kung paano i-deliver, i-bibigay sa mga mag-aaral, sa mga magulang ang serbisyong dekalidad na inaalok ng mata sa para lang ni Pelay Gonzales. So Bago tayo magpatuloy, uh, allow me to introduce to you to the implementation committee. So, sino-sino ba ang tao sa likod ng digitalization program ng Matasa para lang ni Pelay Gonzales? Sino ba yung mga taong uh, nag-isip upang maibigay ng higit ang mga serbisyong pangparalan sa ating pong, uh, mga stakeholders. Of course, we are headed by our school principal, Mr. Henry Isabidong. With him or the assistant principal for senior high school, Mr. Ryan Umdina. And then our two ASTPs for junior high school, uh, Mrs. Liberty A. Noblesa and Mr. Rosalie Bisor. And you're truly po as the proponent of this uh, project. Ang ating pong implementors, Andito po ang ating school guidance counselor, uh, Mrs. Maria Cristina L. Pabayo. Isa rin po sa ating implementor, ang ating pong, uh, administrative officer 2, Mrs. Gina L. Quison, sa part po ng teachers. And lastly, bilang implementor po natin, of course, ang talagang napakasipag na ating school registrar, ang uh, Miss Yvette Balunan. So sila pong tatlo, ay naging implementers nitong programang ito ng ating pong digitalization program dahil ito pong uh, programang ito ay hindi lamang po kumakatawan sa isang sektor ng ating paralan bagkos itong digitalization program na ating ginawa ay para sa guro, para sa bata at para na rin po sa uh, lahat ng mga uh, stakeholders ng paralan. Katawang natin sa uh, mission ito ay ang ating pong dalawang uh, ICT coordinators. Of course, the Master Teacher 1 of the LED Department, ang ating pong ICT coordinator for in, uh, data and management, uh, Mrs. Uh, Juliet uh, Barando. And of course, our ICT coordinator for programs and events, uh, Ms. Rachel Tapan. So kasama po natin sila sa pag-create po at unti-unting uh, paggawa ng mga digital platforms para po sa ating pong mga stakeholders. So kagaya nga po na aking sinabi, ito pong programang ito na mataas sa paralang na Talay Gonzales ay dalawang taon. Ang first phase po natin ay noong 2019-2020 at yung second phase po ay ngayong school year. Matatapos po ang digitalization program sa pagpasok po ng school year 2021-2022. So, ano nga po ba itong digitalization program ng mataas sa paralang na Play Gonzales? Uh, simple lang naman po. Uh, we envision to deliver quality, effective, and efficient services sa ating po mga stakeholders gamit ang iba't ibang online and digital platforms. Ini-envision po namin na mapadali ang pagbibigay ng aming mga serbisyo sa ating pumag-aaral. Actually, hindi po naging madali ito. Hindi po madali. Uh, hindi madali sa puntong sa paggawa ng platforms. Hindi po yun. Kung paano po matatanggap 
ng ating po mga stakeholders yung pagbabagong gusto natin. Paano po natin maishishift yung ating pong mga uh, stakeholders mula sa physical, di ba po? Kasi yun po naman talaga po ang nangyayari. Uh, we tend to receive school services ng face-to-face, -face, physical. Pero ang isa pong malaking naging hamon sa amin is paano tatanggapin ng ating pong mga stakeholders, ng parents, ng community, ng students, yung ating pagbibigay ng alternative platform sa kanila. Of course, kung face-to-face -face po ito, kung meron pong uh, physical interaction, nandiyan ang bata sa eskwelahan, uh, of course, madali nila makukuha yun. Pero isa rin po kasi sa naging consideration po namin, paano yung mga tao, yung mga stakeholders natin na nagtatrabaho, walang oras na pumunta sa paralan para kunin yung kanilang mga school documents, yung kanilang mga service yung gusto. So, inisip natin na ma-deliver yung services natin in the most convenient and efficient time. So, naisip natin, why not gamitin natin yung ating available technologies, yung ating mga platforms, para higit natin uh, ma-deliver yung ating nga sinasabing di kalidad na serbisyo para sa lahat ng Neptalians. Sinimulan natin ito sa pagbuhay at pag-create ng mga social media platforms at uh, mga websites ng schools. So currently, the school is successful in strengthening its virtual presence in the online platform. So actually, uh, we are not the first, pero isa tayo sa tumanggap ng hamon na palakasin ang social media presence ng mga eskwelahan sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng Facebook, paggamit ng mga Google Sites, paggamit ng iba't ibang platforms. And we can say na based po doon sa ating statistics, no? Uh, sa Facebook Analytics, sa Google Analytics, tinanggap ng mga Neptalians, tinanggap ng mga stakeholders ng school, yung ating pag-shift from uh, the physical world or the real world into the digital world. So, based po sa ating pong statistics, sa launching pa lang po ng ating mga digital platforms, ng ating pong social media platforms, ng ating mga websites, umaabot na po tayo ng 4,000 views, tumatapos po tayo ng average na 500 reacts, umaabot na rin po tayo ng 11,000 views sa ating website, na isa pong nakakataba ng puso dahil hindi namin na-imagine na ganito tatanggapin ng bawat isa yung pagbabago na nais ng paaralan para sa bawat mag-aaral. Kagaya natin po na sinagay ko kanina, wala naman pong may gusto na magkaroon ng pandemic. Pero kagaya din po na sinabi ko, blessing in this guys sa eskwelahan na nakapagplano tayo ahead of time bago dumating yung pandemic. Kung baga, hindi pa man nauuso yung pandemic, iniyahanda na natin yung eskwelahan paano nito i-embrace ang digitalization. Paano nito i-embrace yung ICT integration sa ating mga programa? Kaya naman nagawa nating makapag-launch ng iba't ibang programang pampaaralan na nasa digital platform. In fact, uh, nang magsimula ang pandemic, ang eskwelahan ay ang kauna-unahang nag-launch ng kanyang online enrollment. 
itong itong pagkakataon ito ay naging simula na subukan mates yung mga preparations ng paralan sa paggamit ng technology sa pagbibigay ng serbisyo sa mga estudyante. And based from that, of course, hindi naging madali kasi uh, mahirap siyang ituro ng hindi siya physical. Kung baga, lahat tayo nabigla sa pagbabagong nangyari. Pero unti-unti in-embrace ng ating mga neptalya, sa ating mga guro, ng ating mga stakeholders yung pagbabagong ito. At ngayon, tuloy-tuloy natin itong ini-improve, tuloy-tuloy natin binibigyan ng atensyon yung boses ng ating mga stakeholders. Another thing, tayo lang din ng kauna-una ng eskwelahan na nagsumubok gumamit ng online platform para i-deliver ang requisition ng school documents. Kumbaga, inilapit natin ang registrar, inilapit natin ng guidance sa ating mga stakeholders, sa ating mga mag-aaral, sa ating mga parents, sa ating community. Ibinukas natin muli ang pinto ng eskwelahan para maibigay ang mga dekalidad na serbisyo sa ating mga nasasakupan. Tayo lang din ang sumubok ng kauna-unahang online examination para sa STEM and ABM. Hindi uh, lingit sa ala- kaalaman ng lahat ang STEM at ABM strand ng mataas na paralang may pari, A. Gonzalez ay naglulusad ng mga qualifying tests, interviews, etc. So, tayo ang kauna-unahang paaralan na nagsubok ng online examination and interview process upang masu- uh, masukat ang kakayahan ng ating mga mag-aaral bilang parte ng mga pagbabagong nais natin gawin. Tayo lang din ang nauna. Kumbaga, siguro, hindi naman siguro kung ano, kung di man nauna, isa tayo sa mga nauna na nag-response sa panawagan ng DepEd at ng SBO Mandaluyong na mag-implement ng distance learning modality as primary mode of delivering quality education. So, isa tayo sa tumugon dahil nga sa paghahanda na ginawa natin, nakatugon tayo. Nakatugon ang paaralan sa hamon ng pandemic. Naka, nakatugon tayo sa mga pagbabago na nais ng kagawaran na edukasyon na gawin upang tuloy-tuloy at hindi huminto ang edukasyon sa ating bansa at sa ating lungsod. Uh, bilang bilang parte ng response natin, gumawa tayo ng isang digital depot kung saan inilagay natin ang mga learning materials natin ng paaralan sa isang digital platform na pwede i-access ng mga mag-aaral. Sa una, uh, hindi siya perfecto pa. Marami pa dapat baguhin. Pero ang nakakatuwa sa naging proseso ng, mat- ng eskwelahan is kung paano nito uh, nabigyan ng pag-asa yung bawat mag-aaral na makapag-aral pang muli habang may pandemic. Nabigyan natin sila ng access sa edukasyon gamit ang online at digital platform. Kaya naman, sa loob ng dalawang taon na plano o roadmap ng mata sa paralang Neptali Gonzales, kagaya nga po na sinagay ko kanina, plano ng mata sa paralang Neptali Gonzales na makuha ang lahat ng stakeholders, makagawa ng programa pa sa lahat ng stakeholders. Sa learners, meron tayong online services, portal. Sa community, tayo po ang kauna-unahang uh, naglunsad din po ng school-based QR code online tracing portal na kung saan uh, i-scanin lamang ng ating mga school guards yung QR code ng mga bisita sa paralan upang magkaroon ng contact tracing. 
sa ating pong teachers, mag-create po tayo isang portal kung sa lahat po ng servisyo na kailangan ni teachers, nandun po isang one-stop shop kung saan pwede nga access po ni teacher lahat po ng service ng Department of Education, ng SDO Mandaluyong, ng school para po sa kanila. And of course, para po sa mm-hmm. mga administrators, para po mapadali ang pagmamonitor sa ating pong mga school activities, sa school documents and data retrieving, meron po tayong uh, database para sa kanila. Lahat po ng ito ay isang malaking plano, isang dalawang taong plano, isang dalawang taong roadmap ng mataas para lang ni Pani Gonzales para ihatid ang pinakadekalidad na serbisyo para po sa lahat. At bilang pagkatapos po ng ating plano o ng ating roadmap, inilalaunch po ng mataas sa para lang ni Pani Gonzales ang isang digital branding. Ito po yung tawag nating MPNAG Digital. Ang pinakahuling parte ng two-year plan is to create a mobile app para sa para lang, para sa mga guro, para sa mga mag-aaral, para sa community. And we are proud to say na tatapusin namin yung aming preparations for the two-year plan na na-achieve namin kung hindi man po 100% ng amin pong plano, at least na-achieve namin yung 90% ng amin pong objectives to create a digital platform for all Neptalians, to deliver quality education using the digital platform. And today, as we move forward to this event, to this milestone, we are introducing to you the MPNAG Digitals. MPNAG Digitals na kung saan lahat po ng serbisyo ng mataas na para lang ng Trey Gonzales ay abot kamay ng bawat isa. Wala man tayo physically sa paaralan, mararamdaman ng bawat Neptalians na ang MPNAG ay malapit sa kanila using their own mobile phones, their tablets, their laptops. Kasi in any digital platform, available po ang mataas na para lang Neptali I. Gonzales. Na ang eskwelahan po natin, hindi iniwan ang bawat isa. Imagine niyo po, meron po tayong mga websites na can be accessed in, uh, in our laptops, in our tablets. And then today, we are launching the mobile apps para talagang lahat ng digital platform, lahat ng technology, lahat ng gadgets nandiyan ang MPNAG. Na ang MPNAG hindi kayo iniwan, hindi tayo iniwan kahit may pandemic. So, as we go along with today's program, allow me, allow us to introduce to you the MPNAG mobile app for students and the MPNAG teachers app for teachers. Nagagamitin po natin starting school year 2020-2021. With that po, panoorin po natin ito pong isang demonstration teaching na magpapakita sa atin paano ba madadownload ng libre ang mobile app ng mataas na para lang Nepta ni Igon Sales. Please watch this. MPNAG Digitals. MPNAG Digitals introduces the very first mobile applications in the division of Mandaluyong for teachers, for students, for everyone. The MPNAG Students and Teachers Mobile Apps. These applications are powered by Android. Made possible to be comfortable, operated through the following software, and available through the Google Play Store. Here's how to install the MPNAG mobile app. 
open Google Play Store in your mobile device. In the search bar, type Empinag Mobile App. And click the top result. All that's left to do is install. Open the application, and you're done. Here's what to do in setting up your account. Open the Antinag mobile app, agree to our data privacy policy, and click Create Account. Register your email address and create a strong password. Then check your email address for a message from the app to verify your account. Finally, log in with your newly created account in the Antinag mobile app. What features are offered in the Empinag mobile app? Check out this application's key features. For teachers, here's how to download the Empinag Features app. Open Google Play Store in your mobile device. Search for the Empinag Features app. and follow the same steps. Here are the key features of the Empinad Features mobile app. Natalians, download now! Thank you, Sir Lim, sa lahat ng mga unahang binanggit mo. Kaya, saan ka pa? Sa Empinag, hindi ka iiwan. Ikaw ang inuuna. To accept the challenge and commitment of the school, may I call on our very own, very hardworking and diligent assistant principal too of the Senior High School Department, no matter that, Mr. Ryan O. Medina. Good morning, Sir Ryan. Good morning, everyone. To our hardworking principal, Mr. Henry A. Sabidong, to our equally hardworking assistant to the principal in senior uh, in junior high school, Mrs. Liberty A. Noblesa and Ms. Rosalie B. Sor, to our very supportive PSDS in charge of MPNAG, Mr. Anthony Augusto M. Garcia. 
to our proponents of this MPNAG Digitals led by Mr. Junior S. Lim, to the head teachers, subject coordinators, master teachers, teachers, all the stakeholders of MPNAG, isang mapagpalang umaga po sa inyong lahat. This uh, platform is but a dream. It is a dream that uh, started for two years back. This dream aims to reach out to all learners. The app itself was but a dream way back 2019, even prior to the pandemic. It was first publicly announced during the senior high school fair back then during the time of uh, Dr. Efren S. Consumino. Fortunately or unfortunately, the pandemic came and this project was halted. Fortunately enough, our current principal, Mr. Henry A. Sabidong, has been supportive of this endeavor of uh, the proponents in putting up a digital platform, more specifically a mobile app for both teachers and students um, to give out the services of the school for easier access to all of stakeholders. Today, this dream has become a reality. A reality that spanned for two years. We invite everyone to support this by downloading the MPNAG Students app and, and the MPNAG Teachers app on your mobile devices. In behalf of all the stakeholders and in behalf also of our principal, Mr. Hene Isabidong, we commit ourselves into the maximization of the use of the MPNAG Digitals, more specifically the mobile app, in uh, in the use or in the access of these services. Truly, this pandemic is really a blessing in disguise. And throughout history, we learn that the best innovations, the best inventions of man were born out of the circumstances of its time. And the pandemic is no exemption to this. Truly, that the pandemic has really aroused the creative minds of MPNAG to really think of and to come off of different ways and means to provide its quality services to our stakeholders. From the first online enrollment portal to the on first uh, interview, uh, online interview for senior high school applicants, and now this. Truly, this is a testament of what we had been um, shouting for all uh, for for the longest time. That basta empinag de calidad, and rest assured that this is just but a start of a long way of um, providing digital uh, means and providing easier access for. Not only learners, not only teachers, but all stakeholders. With that, magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. At ang paghupa po ng bagyo ay magsilbing inspirasyon sa atin na sa kabila ng pandemyang ating kinakaharap, balang araw, makakakita tayo ng liwanag. At sa liwanag na ito, sa pagkawala ng ulap na ng mga so, mga unos na ito na ating naranasan, we will come out better and stronger than ever before. And MPNAG, the community of MPNAG, is really dedicating its really best to make everyone a safe haven for learning and making everyone feel na basta ma batang mandunong, walang may iwan, kabahagi ka ng bilang. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat.
Thank you so much, Sir Ryan Medina, for your uh, commitment statement and behalf of the MPNAG community. To end this very informative event, may I request the head teacher for of the TLE department, none other than Mom Michelle Luz Villacorta, for her closing remark. Mom Michelle, good morning, po. I'm a part of this very uh, significant endeavor. Um, sa ating napaka-supportive na principal, Mr. Henry A. Sabidong, sa ating napakasipag na assistant principal to per senior high school, Mr. Ryan O. Medina, at ganun din sa ating nagagandahan at nagsisipagang assistant to the principal per junior high school, Mrs. Liberty A. Noblesa and Ms. Rosalie B. Sor, department heads, subject coordinators, teachers, students, home learning partners, and our PSDS in charge of MPNAG na napaka-supportive sa lahat ng programa ay naandyan, Mr. Anthony Agosto M. Garcia, at syempre, hindi ko palalampasin na i-congratulate at pasalamatan ang ating, ang sinasabi nating brain of this MPNAG digitalization, Mr. Uh, Junior Lim. Good morning ulit. Okay. The number one benefits of information technology is that it empowers people to do what they want to do. It lets people be creative. It lets people be productive. It lets people learn things they don't think they could learn before. And so, in a sense, it is all about potential, according mm -hmm. to Steve Ballmer. Truly, that information and technology brings out the best in Mr. Lims, which also brings out the best in us, the, um, the administrators and the non-teaching personnel of Mataas na Paaralang Neptali A. Gonzalez to be able to come came up with these very helpful uh, applications that um, will uh, benefit not only during this time of pandemic, but as time passes by. Uh, but before I end, let me also read a quotation from UN Secretary of Education, Arnie Duncan, that technology alone isn't going to improve students' achievement. The best combination is great teachers working with technology to engage students in the pursuit of the learning they need. With that, I am encouraging all the teachers to please support uh, this MPNAG apps and um, this MPNAG apps to better improve our learning and the services that we could cater to our stakeholders. Thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you, Ma'am Michelle, for the very sincere closing remarks. Once again, this is Mrs. Josephine Ding Lassen saying, keep safe always and enjoy the rest of your weekends. Basta ang pinag, pikalidad. Ang pinag digitals, ati nito. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for watching us.